Hey, what's up? Go to tpublic.com, user mo diggity, and check out all my merch. I got all sorts of stuff you'll like. Also, go to fadegrips.store and put promo code mo diggity in to save 15% off your total purchases. Oh, yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and just get this started then. Let me go ahead and just do my quick little intro. Intro. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And today we're going to go ahead and talk about remakes, relaunches, reboots versus the originals, and all that fucking good shit. Today I have with me is uh, my good buddy Brian, also known as Drag Rat Survivor on Twitter. And uh, he was How's on... Going? Yeah, he was on the Homeless episode with uh, with me where... The, the audio quality was as brutal as the lifestyle. And uh, <laughs> uh, joining me also today is the illustrious Robin. Say hi, Robin. Hello. How is everyone doing? Oh, that's good. That's good. Not too shabby. I hope everyone is doing real well and all that stuff. So pour me some Dr. Pepper here. And, uh, you know... The Princess Bride just simply doesn't need a fucking remake or a reboot or a recast or re 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 uh, at all. The Princess Bride is an example of a film done perfectly in an imperfect manner because nothing is perfect. I'm sure if I've watched it five or six times in a row, I can start noticing the cracks and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what 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 are y'all's take on it? Uh, Cause I'm a huge fan, and I I love the shit out of the the movie. I must have seen it like a, at least a dozen times as a kid with my dad. Uh, my dad's the one that even uh, introduced is the one who introduced me to the movie anyway. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, what, what do you think, or what do y'all think? Well, well, oh, go ahead. oh no, go ahead. No, 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 after you. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So, I don't know. I I personally very uh very protective of the Princess Bride. Uh, the same uh, when I was younger, that it was it was one of my favorite movies. Um, and uh, I guess yeah, a lot of like sentimental childhood uh shit behind it. But um, <clears throat> my okay. My only thought is if they do the reboot, all I want is. Fred Savage to be the be the guy reading the book. That would be kind of funny because he was a kid in the Princess Bride. Right. It, it would I sort mean, of it would, come it would, full circle. Would, right, like that <laughs> that callback kind of thing. But personally, I I don't know. I mean, I've I just no <laughs> no. I don't I don't think that I. Uh, really want to want to see it happen i mean of course i'm going to end up going to fucking watch it if it comes out because oh god is. help us all yeah but yeah. I mean, you know you know you will too i know and it makes me feel really bad because i'm starting to feel that way about this new star wars movie coming out uh at the end of this year i'm like dude this movie is going to be fucking trash i don't want to see it i don't want to see it but i also don't want it spoiled so the only way to fight this spoilers is to just spoil it myself and watch the fucking movie. But I also uh, am too snotty to watch a camera, so I know I'll end up going watching it, just like I'll probably end up watching The Princess Bride. Uh, Robin, what are your thoughts? So, I mean, I also watched it a lot as a child, also with my father, <laughs> and um, I feel like the biggest problems with it are not like I think it'll probably be fine. Like it, it'll probably be just completely fine. But you run into these problems when you're rebooting or you know like recasting any type of cult classic, like The Princess Bride, because it is a cult classic. Yeah. And you run into these issues where like first of all you're you're fighting against nostalgia, and that's that's always just a complete uphill battle. And the other one is 
the, that's some big shoes to fill when it comes to the cast of the Princess Bride because the original cast was big time. strong. Yeah, that's it's going to be real difficult to f- to find any actors who could fill the shoes of, of the originals. Yeah, like who plays Andre the Giant's character? Jason Momoa. Yeah, oh me God, out, hear me out. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh God, <laughs> no, 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 no. The Rock has to be Wesley. Because it's going to be, what? It's going to be like, we got to have Kevin Hart, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black. Oh, God. <laughs> Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson just has to be in. Oh, God. Is he going to be the hero? Oh, God. Uh, all right, Red all right, all right. So, so we're, we're recapping. Red Pirate, wow. Oh, God. Wow. You prefer, you know, who, who plays Ignacio Montoya? Who gets to say you killed my father? Prepare to die. That's Jack Black. Oh, oh no, that's totally Jack Black. You already know. No, I, I thought he would be the inconceivable. Who who plays him? Let's get Steve Buscemi in there. Oh yeah, inconceivable. Like I could see him giving a shit about that role. Oh <laughs> god, yeah, yeah, inconceivable. Can I get my fucking paycheck already? I'm just I, this is not my role. <laughs> What about Gilbert Godfrey, though? Just like, inconceivable! Inconceivable! Mm. Inconceivable! I can't believe you outsmarted! <laughs> oh, <God>. Dear God. <laughs> Alright, so... <laughs> Uh, you know, maybe, maybe if we did recast it, like, with that, maybe it would be okay. Yeah, maybe we can... Oh, God... Now that I'm seeing it in my mind's eye, I, I can see uh, Gilbert Gottfried playing exactly that role. And it would be kind of funny. It would be kind of funny. But uh, who I plays... Mean, I mean, it, would it. it would border on that so bad it's good. Like, yeah. um, like okay, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come right out and admit it. Guilty pleasure. The Jubanji remake. It's trash, in my opinion. But I can't like if it's odd i'm just like yeah this is mildly entertaining then i feel dirty and i have to go like put a bath bomb in my asshole oh my god <laughs> want to hear a confession i've never seen either one the the robin williams no i've never seen jumanji it just never really looked interesting to me oh i mean so and that's that's something I'd be interested in uh in checking out at least for myself is going back in in and watching these movies that like we held as such a high regard when we were children and haven't seen since then or maybe preteens or whatever um and just seeing how they hold up cuz you know come to think of it I haven't seen the original Jumanji in probably like 15 years so like maybe as my taste have grown and I've like become like Whatever I am, eh, maybe it maybe it doesn't hold up. I don't know, um, but that I don't know. Maybe that's a that's a that's a topic for another day. Oh, see, uh, no, no, that's a perfect topic to talk about right now. Uh, see, a long time ago, we were all chilling at your house. In fact, man, all the whole group was there, and we decided that we we're going to get baked and watch fucking Ghostbusters, the animated series, not the original Ghostbusters with the gorilla. But, uh, the real Ghostbusters. Yeah, the real Ghostbusters. Thank you, thank you. Um, we watched that, and dude, I don't know what I was thinking as a kid, but the the animation looks fucking terrible. Like the 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 bad acting and all that, I can easily forgive. I don't have a problem with that. It, it's the the I man, because I remember the animation being much much better as a kid. Because I always remember the intro and outro and stuff, and I watched the intro, it was exactly how I remembered it. But once we got into the show itself, uh, I remember the animation being terrible. The same thing with the TMNT, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original animated series. Uh, I remember loving that as a kid and loving the animation and stuff, but then when I watched it... uh, it, it, it was just fucking terrible, and that's that's why I fear nostalgia a little bit, because I I love 
having the opinions I have, but every once in a while I'll get nostalgic and I'll go back and watch something and it's nowhere near as good as I remember it or like I I see immediately the flaws or something weird with it and it, it fucking sours me on it. Yeah, um, I, f- I find the big one is the voice acting. Voice acting, when I go back and watch anything animated, I'm like, oh, this is awful. This is horrible. <laughs> See, I, I I forgive that. I just want the animation to be good. But I, I don't forgive the voice acting, though. The voice <laughs> acting is easy to correct. The, the voice acting is something that you can correct. I mean, animation is like, well, no shit, it's going to get better with time. Like, nowadays, animation is going to look a lot better than it looked back then. But, like, voice acting? Come on, you could have you done a little bit better. I, I kind of see what you're saying with that too, because like you you, can, you have the ability to go back over and over and over and over in the studio and like redo it. Like this is how I want it. This is how I want it. This is how I want. You know, whatever you do variations. But when it with when it comes to the animation, and I, I I'm not like completely up to par on like how it was back then, but like I'm pretty sure you really got maybe like one or two chances, and then like the little bit of editing, because, I mean, all that was all cell shading and stuff, and it's advanced way more. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But uh, imagine, if you will, going back on the topic at hand, because we kind of just sort of veered off into uh, that, but that that might be another show for another day, because talking about cartoons and shit, Jesus... Then versus now. Let's not get on uh, a tangent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would be that's the wrong tangent for this episode. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, going back to what we were talking about, so we're, we're in agreement then that we will probably all see the Princess Bride remake, even though it's not what we, it's it's nothing that I would personally want, but still you are curious then, huh? I'm at least hopeful. Hopeful. It's it's a hopeful that they that they would do it justice, and I mean I don't know if they would try and modernize it or keep it the same. Um, God forbid we have like a Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Romeo and Juliet situation. Oh God. Oh, <laughs> you know I, my, my jury's still out as to how I even feel about that remake because on one hand I was. Uh, I I was just watching it to try and impress and get with this chick. On the other hand, it wasn't that bad of a movie. It was still stupid, but, you know, it wasn't that bad, I suppose. Myself, I I mean, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out, like, sounding super pretentious, but I like Shakespeare. Not because I'm pretentious, but I just enjoyed it. Uh, I think more so when I was younger. So, like, I, I, I appreciated it. It was like, oh yeah, haha! Like they're calling their gun swords. Like this is this is amusing. But I, I, I think for me, I was a, uh, I was a big fan of John Leguizamo, and so that was uh, I think that's what kind of draw draw me drew me in. Um, I don't know. It's 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 one of those. It's not terrible, but I won't go out of my way to watch it. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh, you know what? What's what's a uh, what's a remake, uh, Robin, that you won't go out of your way to watch, but you'll watch if it's the only thing on. Oh man, I mean, I don't really. I'm not the type of person to sit down and watch a bunch of movies anyway. So I mean, for me to like, for me to watch something, it really has to be something that I go out of my way for in the first place. Oh. It's kind of a tough situation where I'm like, why would I waste my time with <laughs> with things unless they're like exceptionally good? Oh, like okay. the Jumanji, I watched I watched it once and like just probably never gonna watch it again. <laughs> mm. you... What did y'all think of the Power Rangers? The Power Rangers movie? The the one that just recently the... came out? Um Yeah, I guess within the last like uh, I, I, w- I wasn't really into it. I, I didn't watch it. I, I watched some of the clips and stuff of it, but uh, from what I've seen, I, I didn't want to. I didn't feel like going out of my way to watch it. 
Like, I don't even remember what prompted me to even watch the first Power Rangers movie as a kid in the first place. I think it was just because it was in the movies. See, what I'm, what, what, um, I don't know. I, I, I personally enjoyed it, but I, I've noticed, and this kind of happens with a lot of reboots, um, and, uh, it's, it's always the callbacks, um, the, um, damn it what's the fucking term uh fan service yeah so like it, yeah. it's just like hey you remember the you remember the megazord does this look really cool like and it does it really does it like sparks that like little kid inside of me but then i'm like this is kind of garbage like i'm just like i'm falling for their bullshit <laughs> yeah, you uh, feel like yeah. they're playing you go oh wait oh this is so cool wait this is they're kind of just tugging at my emotions to get me to have a reaction like this and then you feel manipulated and you're like this is you're manipulating my childhood what are you doing yeah exactly. that's yeah that that's why i didn't really like star wars episode 9 very much at all because it's all practically fan service besides all the other bullshit it's sort of like a i don't need you to use my nostalgia as a crutch to help you, like, help me get to the point of your movie, like, I am all for 100%, uh, 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 I'm all, I'm 100% for the original plot, the original story, you know? I wanted to give Ray and everyone a chance, it's just, well, the fan service sort of, uh, overshadowed everything, that and the shitty directors and shitty opinions and shitty fans and all that stuff, but, uh, th that was a problem I had, uh, with, with, uh, with, with, that's a problem I have with fan service, just too much fan service, uh, a little fan service goes a long way, I'll have to edit some of this out, cause that was just fucking gobbledygook, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but go ahead, Robin. No, I mean, I, I completely agree with you. I mean, there's there's a fine line between, like, bringing up something from your childhood and then, like, drowning you in, like, you only like this because of your childhood. We can't come up with anything original. Please, like our movie because you liked our old ones. It's like, uh, yeah, uh I don't think that's the right approach. You should be able to make something that stands on its own yeah. in a strong way. Yeah, speaking of, uh, so since Brian, since you're the only one that seemed to have watched the Power Rangers movie, unless Robin, if you did. No, I have not. Oh, okay, so did they even remake the Zords, or did they just keep them the same? They had them, I mean, they, they redesigned. Yeah, the redesign's um, inevitable, but, uh, but like, uh, did they do any new animals, or... Was there? It was. I don't know. It was the. Uh, you know what? And I, I, I could, I could be uh, mistaken because it's been a bit since I've seen it. But I do I, no, because I remember Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops. Um, yeah, same Tiger T Rex. Um, no, it was the same ones. <clears throat> and um, but see, the thing is, you spend. It's okay. It's one of those. It's one of those movies that. Had it have done well, and they expected it to, they totally like expected there to be a sequel or something, or become a, a franchise again. Um, is that like, and this happens a lot, is you get that, you get that build up and the build up and the build up and like, oh, you've got to do this training and like you have to go through all this stuff and like slowly, oh, hey, now you've got your suit. Like, remember the remember the suit. Remember when they'd go morphin time, and like, so finally, like, basically, you get like, I think. I, I, I'm just I'm just bullshitting, uh, pulling this out of my ass. Sorry, um, the time wise, but I'm I, I want to estimate probably like a half hour, and that's like the final battle scene, and then like maybe like one of them like grabbing the Zord and like trying to drive it before they're quote unquote ready, and like go on a crazy wild ride, and it's hilarious and blah 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 blah, and you know it just, um, yeah, it, and it, and it's again fan service and um. I don't think anybody here cares about spoilers for Power Rangers, and if, if oh they please do, no, no if don't they don't do, spoil you've had it. Plenty of time. Um, fucking <laughs> Snape kills Dumbledore, dude. It's terrible. Yeah, did you know um, that Darth Vader was Luke's father? 
No! No! Oh, God. But, uh, so, so the very end, we all remember everybody's favorite Power Ranger. At least he was mine. Fucking the Green Ranger. Or the White Ranger, depending. But, um... I thought it was the blue a... one, because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. That, that was a subtle gay joke at your expense, Brian. My bad. Oh. <laughs> 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 Sorry, not all jokes are going to be winners, okay? Some of them are just going to be like, huh? <laughs> That'll be ten demerits. Uh, ten points from Gryffindor. <laughs> um, okay, no, what was I say? Oh, the Green Ranger. So, okay, yeah, spoilers, I don't give a shit. Uh, the very, very end, the end credit scene, the post credits, which is, which is something that we've all come to expect um, in films uh, at this point. Uh, they're like in detention or some shit, which is where they met. Um, but like they, you just like hear some like commotion or some shit, and like something like, "Hi, I'm the new kid, Tommy." Which, if we if we paid attention to, the oh, oh Rangers, my the god, <laughs> which sets up sets him up for being the next bad guy because Rita had control over him at the at first and like did some like double agent shit or whatever. It's been years. But, uh, yeah, so that sets him up to be the bad guy, but, but they're recasting the Power Rangers and rebooting the reboot now. From what I hear, I could be totally wrong, but I could have sworn that was one of the tabs that I had open. Well, what the fuck is, what the, what was the point of the movie, then? Money. Gotta get that money. Oh, God, I fucking hate Hollywood. See, Your I would... nostalgia has a value. Ugh. Uh, well, I would have seen, like, a, a Power Ranger, a Goku Power Ranger uh, movie w- with the fucking Green Ranger in it, because that, w- that would have been cool. That would have been fun. But if you're just going to reboot mean, the shit and recast it, well, then fuck him. And see, that's the thing. I kind of, I enjoyed it. Like, I enjoyed the cast. Um, they were kind of annoying teenagers, but, like, their their dynamic eventually gets better. Um, but... It just, it doesn't make sense, like, to go through all that effort to make that, to build to another one, whether you knew that there, that it was going to make money or not, um, and then just, like, yeah, no, we're, we're redoing it, which is what I'm worried about a certain web-slinging friend of ours. Oh, I, uh, per, dude, I have given up on a, a certain web-slinging friend of ours since, like, oh, f- uh, what? Spider-Man 3. Yeah, since Spider-Man 3, the, I, I personally, in my opinion, think the Spider-Man series just has just got no legs. See, and and I'm gonna I have to I have to to just to disagree at least with uh with the recent ones. Um they may not be the most amazing, but in my opinion, they're the most amazing Spider-Man uh films that we've had. At least uh um What's the interpretation, uh, incarnation? Hey, Brian. Hey, real quick. Uh, you got a little bit of fuzzy, fuzzy uh, sounds uh, coming on your end, coming from your end. I don't uh, know if it's if it's that... you're moving or not. I'm just letting you know. Oh, I might have. Uh, I might have hit the mic. Is it still doing it? Uh, go ahead and talk again. Does yeah, mean... yeah. I still hear the fuzziness. Okay. How about now? A, a little bit. You know what? Uh, screw it. I'll, I'll just uh, I'll adjust your audio and put a couple of extra filters in some places. Don't worry about it. Uh, are Are you moving? Because it sounds like as when when you're still, it's you sound fine. But I've noticed when you're moving a little bit, it fuzzes out on you a little. Hash, um, hashtag mostly my sitting problems. still. Mostly sitting still. All right. Well, you know, I'll, I'll just I'll just worry about it later. Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, I think it's gotten a little bit worse. You said worse. Yeah, like whatever you're doing with it, it doesn't. It sounds like yeah, it's more pronounced now. I can hear it. Oh wait. Okay. 
How about that? Uh, speak again? Uh, is that doing any better? That's a lot better, yeah. Mike. It sounds a lot better, yeah. Okay, I th- I must have hit the uh, I probably hit the volume thing. It's got a volume button like up and down on the on the mic itself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, shit. So we were talking about Spider Man, and I rudely interrupted you. <laughs> Herpeter, Bribery. I think you were saying that these Spider Man movies were the best we've had. Okay, yeah, sorry, I, I've got the push to speak on right now, and I was hitting the wrong. Um, <clears throat> Professional podcast. Uh, oh, very. Uh, we can edit this. Oh, yeah. Um, it, yeah, yeah, it won't be a problem. <laughs> so, as, 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 far as, as far as my opinion goes, though, I think it is the best incarnation that we've had. Um, I mean, we've only gotten the two films, which I... I was really impressed with and and I mean and but even that one kind of pulled like the fan service thing with the fucking uh uh, uh ACDC track and shit when he goes to Stark's computer um spoilers um but I'm I don't know I'm really really bummed out that uh they just sort of uh just cut his legs off right at the start i mean oh yeah what like like what four well okay so what civil war infinity war end game and then two spideys so we got five only two solos um i just i don't know dude i i i could just be a tom holland fanboy um but i just i really i really enjoyed those um, and maybe it's one of those things like over time, like maybe Tobey Maguire used to be good and we all just hate him now, which I, I don't think that's the case. Uh, I, I, I have mean, the unpopular opinion of liking Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I like the Amazing I Spider-Man did. series too. I thought it was, uh, I thought that everyone shits on the second one and they've never watched a fucking Spider-Man movie or have ever wa- uh, read a Spider-Man comic. Because I, I think the very ending, you know, when he's going, when it uh, cuts off hard, uh, uh, hard cuts off to the black screen, uh, uh, him fighting the fucking rhino. That's exactly how a fucking Spider-Man movie ends. That's how a bunch of Spider-Man comics end, you know? He just goes off fighting, and you know, it's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. But, uh, uh yeah, I thought the Amazing Spider-Man series was pretty good. I still think Andrew Garfield probably played the best Spider-Man. Not not just, like... Because Tom Holland plays a really good Peter Parker, but I think Andrew Garfield really nailed, like, cocky Spidey. Like, okay. Spidey is... He's a cocky dude. I mean, he's... Okay, uh... Um, With the mask on. <laughs> c- toned down-ish Deadpool, basically. Yeah. And and that's... that's I th- yeah, he's just a snarky little shit. Little side note, uh, fucking uh, Deadpool uh, and X Spidey crossovers in the comics are always really, really good. Oh, Spidey Pool is the best. And oh that's yeah, that's another reason that I'm really <laughs> upset that uh, Spidey's leaving the MCU because I keep hearing all this shit, and it could be bullshit because it's the fucking internet. But that Deadpool will eventually, eventually be in the MCU. I don't know what Feige's doing about that. Uh... I don't know if this is just like. But I like again, like that would have been, like that would have been fucking perfect, like, and that would have been the perfect introduction, in my opinion, of Deadpool into the MCU. It's like, fucking Spidey just comes by, and fucking Deadpool's like beating the shit out of some dude. Yeah, like, fucking what the? Well, like, are are you a bad guy? Like, nah, he took my fucking chimichanga. <laughs> yeah, know. yeah, th- no, th- that That's really. That's lazy writing. No, no, no. That's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, fucking uh, the 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 murder the the deal between Sony and fucking Disney uh, was just fucking irrational. Uh, Sony should just agree to whatever price fucking uh, uh, Sony uh, Disney should just agree to whatever price Sony has in mind and just fucking give them the money. Yeah, 
You, you see, I mean, you have Disney. like, what I is mean, it gonna hurt? Yeah, like, isn't that fucking like lunch money? You people now, come on, just like, like okay, we want Disney like eight hundred million more money anyway. Like they have a they have a monopoly on the entertainment industry. Yeah, and, 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 and fucking Endgame is now officially the highest grossing film of all time. Okay. Surely you have a few dollars lying around that you can just throw at the pavs that are fucking Sony Entertainment. Okay? Jesus. Like, it's just Spider-Man is Marvel. Like, that's... The, the amount of money they're making just from having Spider-Man in their Marvel movies is ridiculous. They, yeah. They need to keep Spidey. Just agree to whatever Sony wants. Yeah, and for fuck's sake, it used to be Captain America was the face of Marvel, the, the fucking... the, the icon... And then it eventually moved to fucking Spider-Man. And they keep cutting the legs out uh, uh, from under Spider-Man every single time. Like, that franchise uh, has about as bad as uh, bad a, a luck as the fucking Fantastic Four uh, fucking franchise. Oh, uh, which, uh, like, why? What, what is the point of ever bringing the Fantastic Four back ever again? I, I think we should never revisit it. I think we've tried twi- or, uh, three, like, what was it, three, four, three-ish, four-ish times? Wasn't there a show or something? Yeah, it was a yeah, cartoon. No, there was a movie, like, cartoon. in the 80s. Uh, wasn't there, like, a live action in the 80s or 90s or something? Uh, I think so. So probably there about, been like, many. five. Yeah. And Hollywood just cannot get it right. It's a comic book fucking thing. Or uh, animated series, I think an animated series would be fucking great. You know, uh, one of the most underrated uh, uh, arcs in all of comics was the uh, uh, Johnny Blaze, ac- uh, uh, no Johnny Storm, uh, accidentally uh, sets uh, like I think the uh, uh, NYC or uh, N- NYU, like I think university or a. Uh, a historic New York landmark. He accidentally set it on fire, and he panics and fucking bails. And he he has to leave the Fantastic Four, and uh, uh, and and all that shit. And the thing uh, jumps on a team, I think, to defend Johnny. And Wolverine and a few other Marvel superheroes are tasked with trying to hunt him down and that's the that's the arc of, for the thing where he got the he had to use, wear the mask or he chose to wear a helmet uh because Wolverine fucking sliced right into his fucking face adamantium was one of the few things that can penetrate the thing's skin uh we found out from that comic and it was a huge fucking it, it was a huge arc and I'd love to see that on the big screen, but I, I, I think with how badly the Fantastic Four series has been made in the last so, like decade, several decades, uh, I don't, I don't think we'll ever see it. I, I'd love to see it in a game too, but I don't know if Fantastic Four game would be any good either. They've had a couple of good ones, I thought. A couple of good games. I haven't seen any or heard any yet. <laughs> It's one on, like, the Game Boy or something. It was about the Silver Surfer, and it was like, all right. Cool, cool, cool. I'll have to uh, check out that out. All right. I am really missing having the Thing in Marvel movies, because the Thing yeah. is such a great character in the comic books. Yeah, that's another like, big Marvel icon. Uh, that The we... Thing versus Champion of the Universe is one of my favorite things to ever read. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know if I've read, ever read that comic. Where he well, it's like the strongest dude in the universe, and the thing just gets in the ring. Oh no, shit! <laughs> and the thing like keep, keeps getting beaten down, and just keeps standing back up. And it's not that like the champion of the universe is winning; it's just like the thing isn't dying, and he's not tapping out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! You gotta cut me, Mick. <laughs> oh, cut me, Mick! Oh, <laughs> Alright, alright, let's go ahead. Because, God, it's, it's been a while since I've been able to talk Fantastic Four and Spider-Man with people. Uh, you know, I, I can talk about that all day. But we got to move on to... Uh, Brian, you gave me a, a link that's, that told us about... that. Blah, blah, blah. Brian submitted a link that showed... Oh, fucking shit. Oh, here, here, here. Ugh. Thank God for editing. Brian gave me a link that is a list of the 20 
TV reboots or revivals coming uh, soon in, during 2019 and 2020. So the very first thing I fucking see, because I figured I'd scroll to one that uh, until we can all figure out. Oh, oh, fuck. I figured that I can scroll till I find one that everyone likes, but immediately the very first one that I see is Breaking Bad. And I'm just like, just why? Why, why, why? The, the ending... The ending wasn't very good, and just like the, those are, there was a lot wrong with the final season of Breaking Bad. First off, the the ten slash ten and a half month uh, 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 break in between uh, episodes of the uh, during the final season, I, I did not like the that. The break at in all. between the bad. Oh yes, the break in between the bad. Yes. That was just so, fucking far too long. Like, even for, like, a good series like that. Like, come on. So I have to confess, I've never watched Breaking Bad, I think, past maybe, like, one or two episodes. Oh, no shit. Well, you really should. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's That's a damn... That's what everybody says. Well, it, it, it's a damn good uh, season. Or, or, fuck. It, it, it's It's a damn good series. Uh, but the problem is, is most of the like it, it's it's good up until a point. Like you can tell when the the people behind the scenes are just starting to phone it in near uh, near the like a uh, the next to last season about midway. They just start fucking phoning it in. And I mean, I think it's get, really good. Even the ending, I think, is good. I, I thought scenes in the last episode were fucking great. But the I think the I, I think the uh, I think the meth dealers are are just such a like I don't care about the characters at all, and there are sli- and I guess like maybe maybe we were maybe I was expecting a, a, a bigger bad to in, in Breaking Bad, like surely someone else has to like be like wanting some, surely someone wants to uh, have some revenge against uh, fucking everybody for uh gus or or well, the, somebody the biggest bad in breaking bad is walter white that's the whole point of the show right like he is the he he is the bad guy like well yeah but there but there's uh, so many enemies that he encounters and, and there's so there's so much well then again i guess since he's the, he was the only la- last one standing uh i guess i can see exactly that yeah Maybe I just don't see Walter White as much of a, as much of a bad guy as I'm supposed to, because I always uh, painted uh, Walter White as the tragic villain, the the villain that doesn't necessarily want to do it, but because he's so cor- he's he got so corrupted and forgot to hold on to his humanity, uh, then that's when uh, he started enjoying it too much. Well, there becomes that point where he's in the room with uh, with Skyler with all of his money, and they're looking at it, and you can tell he's he's thinking, "Well, what's the point? What am I doing anymore?" And he's like, "Well, I just like cooking meth." Like you can just tell he's like, "I, I like the thrill of being this big kingpin dude." Yeah, fuck it, right? Like he's he's just in it now. He's like, "I like it." Yeah, the I'm the life. Him. Yeah, the lifestyle got to him real quick. And he wasn't living extravagantly like all the other dealers. He was the perfect uh, cover. It, it it really was the perfect cover uh, for the everyday suburbanite uh, meth kingpin. But it, I it's, think uh, the problem I have with the reboot is that I think Jesse's ending was just perfect, and I'm not gonna be happy either way it goes. Like I'm not gonna be happy if he gets a happy ending. I'm not going to be happy if he gets, like, a bad ending. Like, the ending to Breaking Bad for Jesse was very bittersweet, and that's exactly what was needed. Yeah. Because, like, the, you know, like, the the last thing you see him is him, like, uh, crying and laughing and speeding off into the darkness. And, yeah, he's uh, alive, but now what? Like, that's that's his ending, and that's great. That's a great way to write a character off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's it's it's kind of like a they said everything that they needed to say uh, in the series. I, I get that Better Call Saul is the spinoff, 
and they're saying what they need to say with that show. But at the same time, uh, I, I believe that Better Call Saul has, is being able to stand on its own two legs. I don't know how this uh, movie or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how it's going to end up st- saying what it needs to say because what more is there to say? Uh, Brian, you got any thoughts? Um, have you have I you mean, ever seen Have you ever seen uh, Better Call Saul? No, I haven't. Um, oh, it's a good fucking lawyer show, man. It's it's got Bob Odenkirk in it. It's great. It's got a oh, very. Well, that, that's a selling point, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got, but yeah, I, I know you. You know me. Like I fucking love Mister Show, and everything. Like you know, uh, uh, Tom goes to the mayor. Like everything that Bob and uh, Odenkirk and, and fucking. Oh, oh, fucking! Who's who's this comedian? Uh, David Cross. David Cross. Bob thank Oden you, Kirk. thank you, thank you. So, speaking of Mr. Show, and this is actually kind of old news. I don't know if you knew about this, but um, I think it was just called with Bob and David. Um, because the original was Mr. Show with Bob and Dave, or Bob and David. Yeah. They did. Uh, they did a small um reboot, um. As if they had gone into a time machine at the end of the last season of the original show and, like, come out and they're all old. They've just been standing inside of a shed for however many years um, because it's fucking Bob and David. <laughs> um, but that that one was actually pretty interesting. Um, that one, it's it's worth checking out. But that one, again, was, it, 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 was, it was cool. It was awesome. It had um, all the original... Uh, actors and stuff on it, but it still just felt like a nostalgia grab. And um, I'm actually I, I'm I'm looking at this uh, article right now, and I've been I've been patiently uh, trying not to blurt out. Um, they're fucking remaking Akira. What's Akira? Akira. Oh, the, oh, Akira. The the, the anime. Oh, oh yeah, the they, the, they the did anime. That a while ago, didn't they? Did they? Yeah, with Scarlett Johansson. No, no, that was um. That or was no, Ghost that was um, that was Ghost in the Shell, right? They're making Akira. Wait, yes. what? Um, okay, so for this... some reason my brain blanked. I'm I'm not gonna read this whole little clip, but uh, basically what I'm getting is um because I don't see it on this article here. No, I'll I'll send this one out. I I found another one. This one's 120. <laughs> um. Live action Akira remake in the works. Um, this Marco J. Ramirez, who's the showrunner for Daredevil on Netflix, uh, apparently he's been hired to write the screenplay. Um, and apparently, okay, I, I don't know. This is confusing. I don't know if it's saying Christopher Nolan is wanting to work on it, has wanted to, is going to, or was. I don't know. Um. That's a, uh, I don't know. That's that's like the anime princess bride for me. <laughs> like, oh wow! I'm like, don't touch it, um, because uh, I, I've noticed, and I've noticed a lot of problems with live action uh, anime uh, remakes. And if this is going to be on Netflix, um, if um, while I enjoyed it, uh, Death Wish. Uh, was a little uh, in their live action, and uh, the Full Metal Alchemist was probably the biggest letdown. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the I live action! That one. The live action FMA. Was, oh. Ugh, and it, it. I, I, I really, really, really tried. You already know, Mo, how I've uh, by my my love for for Full Metal. Um. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Yeah, there was the Death Note one, and that was really bad. And, like, I, I, I really, I, I don't know if I, if I intensely enjoyed William Defoe. Or that was the only good just, part about it. <laughs> like that's the be- that was the best part of the movie. He was the but perfect they turned, cast. They turned the whole, I'm pissed off right now. They turned the whole story of Death Note into a fucking love story. And it was like, why yeah. would you do that? That was, that was like such a point where he was like, I don't love anyone. <laughs> like, like, I mean, wasn't, didn't he kind of get to like the point of being like almost like nihilist? 
He, pretty much, yeah. He just did not care. Why would why would the movie present him as like this fucking romantic dude? Because when he sees himself as a narcissistic god. Because love sells, man. Uh, and I hate I hate for that to be the exact reason, but I'm like eighty percent sure that 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 was it. Like, oh, like people aren't going to be interested if there's not like a love interest. Uh, I, I've I've only ever got to see most of the first episode of Death Note, and every time I try to watch it, something comes up and, like, distracts me for, like, five hours, and I just plain fucking forget to watch the rest of it. Uh, I still have to finish up, oh, what was it called? Uh, oh, Psychopaths. Psychopaths. God, that's such a fucking great, uh, 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 sort of like cop uh, detective murder mystery uh anime. It's really good. Yeah, it's a fucking great one. But uh Well, it was really good and then they made a season 2 and now they're making a season 3. <laughs> oh, really? Like that you Uh-oh. know Yeah, you know that goes against like the tradition of anime, you know? It's like why I love Fooly Cooly or FLCL so much is because they made we... that, didn't they? Uh, they they gave it like two two more quote unquote seasons that are supposedly I will I don't know if they're standalone or what but yada yada uh you know we only get like a handful of episodes for X X anime and that's usually it and I'm usually really really into that concept I don't think that we really need to reboot or remake every single little thing. Because, well, then we get schlock, like a live-action fucking Death Note and fucking live-action Full Metal Alchemist. Anyway, uh, uh, Robin, you know what, Robin, your thoughts. What, what are, what, what's, uh, you know, let's go ahead and just start wrapping this up because we've been going for about an hour. Uh, Robin, what are two series, a series that you want to see rebooted and two series you don't want to see uh, rebooted? What are two series I want to see die, and two series I want to see not die? Oh uh, no, I, I'm sorry. I meant, a... <laughs> uh, uh, what? What are two series that you want to see rebooted, and two series uh, oh, that know. you I was, don't want to see? With you. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Just because okay. if it gets rebooted, it dies, right? Like... All right, that makes sense. Fuck, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the reboots are good. I mean, Princess Bride will, would be great if they did a good reboot. Like, having having better camera quality and better visuals would be really good. But there's there's never any guarantee that something's going to be good. Um, I mean, same thing goes for Akira. I mean, Akira, if they could remake it and it was good, I'm fucking all for it. Like, hell yeah. But I think over overall, I would say, like, just don't make something new. Make something that can stand on its own. Oh, that's it? That, that's all you have to say about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't really... F- I mean, I, I could start listing off just good television shows. I mean, like, Breaking Bad should not get a reboot. Period. Right. If there's some... I, I think things that are sacred, you know, The Wire should never get rebooted. Please, God, never reboot The Wire. I still need to watch The Wire. You definitely need to watch The Wire. I can't think of anything I would want to reboot for. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, Brian, what about you, man? Two you want and two you don't want. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to say, because I'm, I'm just seeing this on here, um, there's actually a lot that I don't want. Um, but I've just found out uh, apparently, <clears throat> they're talking of uh, rebooting the Flight of the Navigator, which was one Aww. of my favorites when I was a kid. Um, and that's one like it's it's kind of that Princess Bride level. Like I would love to see it, but it's going to be nostalgia. Um, so I'm I'm going to put that on a maybe. Um, that's kind of an indifferent. Um, I'm going to say I definitely don't want to see uh, Warner Brothers re- try and make another Green Lantern movie, because that's apparently happening. 
Oh god. Again. Um yeah, I know. Um You know what? Um Okay, so one maybe, one I don't. Um Gremlins would be one that I do. You want to see um, a remake of Gremlins? Well, I so I'm looking at it and it's not they're not saying that it would be a reboot. It would be Gremlins 3. Which is really kind of, I don't know, I, uh, that can be a hit or miss kind of thing. Um, no, you know what? Actually, I take that back. I take that back. One that I am very, very excited about is Ghostbusters. Um, because allegedly Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, like, I mean, the OGs yeah, the, except for, um, yeah, Ramis? Harry, yeah, um, Sam Ramis, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can say that I'm really excited for that. Um uh, and I mean, cause the, I'm not, I'm not going to touch the, the, the one that never happened. Yeah. 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 The I, one I, that we I, never I, speak about. It was, what, what are you guys talking about? Uh, I don't know. Uh, 2016. Don't know. Oh no, God. Uh, 2016 was a shitty year for movies. So, okay. So that's, that's one I do when I don't. Okay, another one I don't is I'm gonna say the Inspector Gadget. Um, when I do, I'm gonna say Invasion of the Body Snatchers, and I know I know there was only originally like do and don't, but I'm putting the maybe. Um, I think Invisible Man could kind of be interesting. Um, talks about Johnny Depp being the lead, so then there's that. Ugh, is yeah. it gonna be Tim Burton with? With Helena Bottom Carter and Johnny Depp and Danny Elfman, and it's, uh, I don't know. But I, I'd, I'd give that one a try. Mm. That's kind of interesting. That's a real interesting take, just uh, rebooting some monster movies and some old, like, horror classics like The Invisible Man and shit. And I'm seeing, like, Creatures from the Black Lagoon. Oh, you oh. know what? Okay. All right, I've got because I keep scrolling. I'm gonna add one more, and then I'm not gonna add any more to this list before it grows too longer. But the uh, we are the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, I was apparently getting a reboot. I wasn't a huge fan of the very first movie. I saw it in theaters. I thought it was good for a popcorn flick, but like sitting down watching it on my TV, like when it came to DVD, I'm like, uh, I don't feel anything for this movie, and it's kind of shitty. So I'm hoping that they do it some better justice. Uh, I didn't get to see the new Hellboy re, uh, remake. And it's I'm, amazing. I heard fucking great things. Like, most people who have watched it really enjoyed it. And I'm a huge fan of both Hellboy 1 and 2 and the comic book. If you haven't read the comic book, by the way, Robin, Brian, I highly recommend oh, it. Oh, of course it's, I would it. yeah. Oh, okay. It's totally brutal. Yeah, it's, it, it's fucking awesome. Like, it's one of my favorite arcs in the whole series is, like, him getting involved with Lucha Libre wrestlers and, and them uh, fucking <laughs> hunting vampires and demons and yes. werewolves and shit. I, I just think that's fucking cool. <laughs> Okay, then you definitely need to watch the reboot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard things about some stuff. Uh, all right, all right. Um, yeah, dude, I still need to watch it as well. Yeah. Dude, I, I have to say, Brian, I'm not too enthusiastic with the Ghostbusters 3, even with the OG cast. I think, uh, uh, like, well, once upon a time, I thought that uh, Dan Aykroyd said we basically had this uh, the spiritual third Ghostbusters movie. With the uh, early two th- or mid two thousands, uh, PlayStation Two Ghostbusters, uh, uh, Ghostbusters uh, game. Oh, the because game, it was yeah. basically was Ghostbusters really Go game. to Hell. Yeah, it was a really good game. It was supposed to be the third one, and then the two thousand sixteen reboot uh, fucking happened, and that was a shit show. And I feel really bad for for most involved, like Kevin Feige. I don't give two shits about because he stuck his own foot in his own fucking mouth and made remarks that nobody asked for and made the situation worse. I I think when he started running his mouth, that's when the situation got worse because like an all female reboot of the Ghostbusters is a little silly, but if everyone just calmed the fuck down, it would have like probably been able to stand on its own two legs, but yada, 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 uh, 
I, I think that we just need to uh, lovingly and with all respect let the let, let the fucking Ghostbusters sh- uh, 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 franchise like quietly die quietly pass. Do you got any reboots you guys like? Uh, God, let's see. Well, I'm really jazzed about the Hellboy reboot. I really like that. There's a few other reboots. The, the problem with some of them, though, is that you won't recognize or realize that they're reboots until, like, a little later on. Like, uh... Oh, well, it, it's more prevalent in, in fucking music. When you hear a good song, you find out it's a cover. But, uh... That happens often. Oh, God, I hate that shit. Like that, and I know this is totally separate from real... But, well, I guess covers can be in the sort of the same area. But, yeah, that's why I don't listen to the fucking radio anymore. Is because I don't know what's OG, what's OC, and what's a fucking cover. Uh, I mean, when I when I think of good reboots, I think Mad Max. That, like the fucking was, yeah. right. I've only ever liked the first Mad Max. I never really liked any of the other ones, and I know this is the minority opinion here, but I wasn't very impressed with the uh, 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 Fury Road. Like I, I don't give a shit. Like I, I like I don't know. I thought it was good. Like it, it was, it was good in some spots. Like everything is just like a, the over the topness uh, about it, the the bullshit about it is, is fucking cool. I, I really enjoy the hell out of those things. But uh, uh, but overall, like I wasn't impressed with the acting or the characters or the, I don't, I don't know. Like I didn't care about the world. I suppose that's fair. Because in the in the original Mad Max, you could really feel the world yeah. changing as the movies went on. You could go like, "Oh shit!" Like it's actually going down. <laughs> like the the world is actually getting fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all in Australia. <laughs> Fucking Australia. I would love to see a Gummy Bears remake. I think that would be a lot of fun and goofy as shit. And another thing for me to get stoned and watch. Uh. Uh, let's see, what would the other one be? You know what? L- let's just go full blasphemy. You know, let's go full heretic. Uh, I want to see a MASH remake. Like, let's see what that looks like. Well, what's a MASH, uh, like a modern day MASH look like? Well, you got Kevin Hart, you got Jack Black. No, 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 no. You got Will Smith. Oh, Will Smith, God. Wig. If you want a reboot to succeed, just don't fucking put Will Smith in it, please. Like, Will Smith's a great actor, but, like, just stop putting him in every fucking reboot. Yeah. He doesn't belong there. Yeah, he's kind of got the reverse Midas touch. I hated him as Deadshot in Suicide Squad. Like, that just pissed me off. I was like, what, 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 is, what is he doing uh, there? Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of liked his Deadshot. I liked his Deadshot. It wasn't too bad. It just didn't feel like Deadshot. It just felt like generic gunman. <laughs> so that's one that I uh, that I read about recently too is the Suicide Squad. He's getting um, rebooted, yeah. Is it so? It's it is a reboot. Like, is it a recast? Like, I uh, think it is a recast. I'm, I'm okay. not entirely no, it, certain. It, no. it, it's it's getting a no. It's it's getting a sequel. Uh, uh, Raimi so, or so. Uh, what's is her it? name? I heard otherwise. No, no, no. Margaret, I I can Margaret actually Robbie or whatever. She'll still be because, uh, despite all of its flaws, of Suicide Squad, it was a fun um, movie. It was a I I really loved it, dude. I really it was I I'm pissed that they cut out co- some of Leto's stuff. An unpopular opinion. I liked Leto's Joker. I don't think he's the best, but I liked it. Well, the problem um, was they cut him out of the movie. I mean, justifiably because he was a dick. But yeah, but I mean, there's so much that. Like it, I, I don't know. He was. A, I feel like he was. He he was essential to the story, and they, they kind of just they they build it as this whole like Harley Quinn like breaking out Joker and fucking oh my god we're gonna have Harley Quinn and the Joker in the same movie and then uh, flashbacks. Yeah, I like, wasn't a it, huge fan of the flashbacks of that movie. But <clears throat> from what I'm from what I'm hearing on the um. This the sequel reboot, whatever it is, is there's pretty they're pretty much just gonna uh, actually have a bunch of decent people and characters to kill off. 
and John Cena, which is which is supposed to be what the Suicide Squad is anyway, right? Like it's baddies killing baddies that are expendable, and there's so many yes. of them that it doesn't matter if they die because there's gonna be another person we can put the collar on, and they're gonna be our bitch. Like that's that's Suicide except Squad. you can tell immediately who's going to die and who's not going to die based on who is who's acting, right? Oh, like Will no, Smith. Yeah, to, uh, won't but, fucking boom, die. Was it, was it Boomerang? Uh... The, yeah, it was like some knot. nobody actor. Yeah, it was Slipknot. <laughs> Slipknot yeah. fucking died. Slipknot. Like, I, I think he, he might have gotten a line, and, and then uh, all he of got a sudden, couple of lines, yeah. he just fucking he Scorpion get over here himself out of the way, and then they blew his fucking head up. That that movie I thought sucked all the way through. I, I did not enjoy that movie, and I didn't. I, I knew that I was gonna like the movie because of the trailer. You know, the we're bad guys. It's what we do. Like, you get the fuck out of here, Margot Robbie. See more movies that aren't scared to just kill big actors. Because what was that yeah, movie where they they casted Samuel L. Jackson just to kill him in the first fifteen minutes to show that they were fucking serious? Oh, like, oh. That, like just fucking do it. Uh, right, yeah, like, like a deep blue sea or something like that. It, it's yeah, the yeah. with the shark. It's like, I got eaten shark. by a shark! A I'm a motherfucking shark! <laughs> See, that's, and that's why I really appreciated Deadpool 2. The whole the whole X-Force build-up, and then just... Yeah, they killed like, off the entire team except the, him and Domino. Like, they yeah. killed the entire X-Force, yeah. And it was amazing, and it was such a Deadpool thing to do. And it was like, oh, fuck, like, they, they got you so hyped for fucking Terry Crews, like, all these actors, and fucking... I was bummed out yeah, about Terry. Just, I, I was I was really excited about like all of those those ca- except for ex- I mean uh, Shatterstar eh, I mean he's always been a douche, um, but it still would have been cool like but at the same time that's exactly why they did it for this exact moment so that I could be like man so fuck you Deadpool. guys <laughs> and it's so Deadpool and it's so perfect and I can't be mad about it. Oh man! Imagine a reboot of Deadpool. Who would they get to cast? Uh, who would they cast as Deadpool? You shut your whore mouth. I I know well, I know. Smith. Well, well, um. So you got Kevin Hart. You got Dwayne the <laughs> Rock Johnson. And Jack Black. Ugh. Uh no, we get um. Oh hell um. Fuck it. We may as well fucking um. Let uh let Twinkle Tits do it. I mean, he's gonna be back. Who the fuck is Twinkle Tits? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Um, god damn it! I I uh um Twilight motherfucker. No, oh, no, 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 yeah, no. You know, nobody. Well, he's the Batman. No, nobody. Batman. Nobody from the Twilight series gets work anymore. New rule. He's nobody. Batman. He's oh, Batman, I don't want him dude. to be Batman. I think he could do a good Batman. I have he went that. from playing to playing a vampire to being a bat. Oh, Dude, watch, watch him like come out of the bat cave, and it's just like sparkles everywhere. Oh, see if that happens. I'm the night. Yeah, and that's exactly when I walk out of the fucking theater. Like, okay, if you're not going to take As Batman if seriously. Go to the theater anyway. If you're not going to take Batman seriously, I'm not going to take this movie seriously. Yeah. <laughs> all right i think that this was fun but we gotta head and wrap it up uh any any final thoughts brian we'll start with you jacking off to nostalgia may be fun but at what costs at what cost at what cost indeed robin stop rebooting your fucking movies <laughs> don't do it <laughs> It's a bad idea. It never. It doesn't. It rarely works. Yeah, just make some other new shit up, man. That would be a lot more fun, and I respect the industry. And and if you're gonna reboot something, at least make it your own in a way that is original and not just like jerking off people's childhoods. Right. All right, people. Well, that was fun. I thank you all for coming out, and I thank you all for listening. Of course, you can find. Uh, Actually, shit. Uh, Robin, do you have anything you want to hawk? Yeah, I mean, I have my Twitter account, at Insight Alloy, uh, which is also my Twitch name, Insight Alloy. I stream a variety of video games. You can also find my podcast stuff at ASEPresents.com. Nice, nice, nice. Brian, you got anything to hawk? 
Uh, yeah, at the moment, uh, let's see, uh, Twitter is at DragRatSurvivor, um, along with the Facebook page, and uh, it's also that on YouTube. Um, right now, there's just a couple of little tracks, uh, mostly doing music, um, but there'll probably be more soon, so um, yeah. Cool. Links will be in the description and all that. Well, everyone, thank you for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for listening. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and, you know, ring that bell or whatever the fuck you people are supposed to do on whatever. Ring my bell. bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. You know, whatever fucking platform I am going to put this fucking shit on. Uh, so yeah, until next time, ta ta. Penis, 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 vagina, vagina.